Hey friends, in this video we will talk about the calculus method to derive the first equation of motion. And I am sure that you have already seen that equation many times. That equation is V equals to U plus AT. And we will take a look at how to derive this equation from calculus. But let's talk about the variables a little first. Here V stands for the final velocity. U is the initial velocity. A is the acceleration of the particle and T is the time. Let's see how we can derive this equation using calculus. So, we are going to start with the definition of acceleration and that is A equals to D of V by DT. And we can write this as d of v equals to a into dt. And let's take a look at the situation right now. So, we have a person whose initial velocity is u and his acceleration is a. Now, this is very important. I am going to assume that this acceleration is constant. And you will see why. Now this man who is walking towards the right reaches a point here after some time t. And when he reaches there his velocity is v. So that's the situation now. Let's come back to this equation here. So we have dv equals to a multiplied by dt. And so what we have are the change in velocity equals to a times the change in time. In order to convert this into the actual expressions for velocity, we need to remove this d from the expression. And to remove the d, we use integration. So, we can apply integration sign on both sides to get integration of dv equals to integration of a into dt. And because we are starting from some given value u, so we have to set the limits of integration. The velocity of the man is changing from u, which is the lower limit or the initial value to v, which is the final value. And the time taken in this process is t. So, we started when the time was 0. And finally, we have time spent t. Now, if you remember our discussion on integration, you know that we can cancel out these two signs when they are next to each other. And if you don't, please go and check out the video on integration. It's, it has got some useful information for you. So, we can write the left hand side as v will have the value from u to v. And that is equal to this integration over here. Now, because A has been assumed to be constant, we can take it out from integration and write A times dt from 0 to t. And the integration and d symbol are now next to each other. I can cut them out and I can write A multiplied by t which is ranging from 0 to t. So, what we are going to do now is to put the final and initial values and take their difference on both the left and the right side. And so, I can write v minus u equals to a into t minus 0 and that becomes v equals to u plus a t. That is your first equation of motion. Now, here are the important facts about this equation. In any given problem of kinematics, we will have five different kinematic variables. And I will list them out for you. The first is the displacement x or s. The second is the final velocity. We indicate it by the symbol v. The third variable is the initial velocity u. 
the fourth variable is the acceleration and finally we have the time out of these five kinematic variables this first equation of motion relates four that is v u a and t the variable that is missing here is x or s so this equation relates four out of five kinematic variables now the second important point about this equation is that this is a vector equation so if we put the arrow marks on each of the vector quantities we have v vector equals to u vector plus a vector into t time is not a vector so this is the vector form of this equation even if the arrows are not drawn you have to keep in mind that this equation is a vector equation and so you should always take care of the sign while using this equation i will show you this with a few examples so let's say we have this person who has an initial velocity of 5 meter per second and he is going towards the right and he takes a time of 2 seconds to reach this spot with an acceleration of 1 meter per second square so what i want to know is the final velocity of this man so we use the equation v equals to u plus at why because this equation relates all the four variables that are involved in the question and we already know the value of u is 5 meter per second plus the acceleration now here is the important part you take a look at the direction of u it is to the right and let's say that we assume this to be the positive direction so because acceleration is in the same direction as the initial velocity therefore we will say that the acceleration is also positive and so we write 1 into 2 that is the time and that gives us 5 plus 2 7 meter per second so the velocity of this man after 2 seconds will be 7 meter per second and now let's take the same example with a slight change that is we have the same person with an initial velocity u equal to 5 meter per second and he is traveling towards the right he reaches this spot with a final velocity v and takes a time 2 seconds in the process but this time let's take his acceleration to be backwards and the value is 1 meter per second square now to find the velocity this time if we use this equation v equals to u plus at then once again take the starting direction as positive then you can see that acceleration is opposite to the positive direction and therefore the value of acceleration will be negative and so we will write v equals to 5 that is the initial velocity plus minus 1 why did we take a minus because the acceleration is opposite to the direction that we assumed as positive into 2 and that gives us 3 meter per second so with the same values of the variables we can end up with different answers depending on the direction of these variables the point to note here is that the equation v equals to u plus ad is a vector equation and you must always take care of the direction when applying this equation See you in the next video.